What really happened when the AEW title was stolen? Where is it now? So this is an actual true story, and it's completely 100% real. I win the world title from Hangman Page. I do the bubbly promo that we talked about, and I had a private plane. I had a charter plane from, for whatever reason, I didn't, whatever. I had a charter plane from Tampa to Chicago. Next day, we're flying back. It was myself, my wife, and, and one of our friends. And we're flying back, and there's a big storm. So we have to land in Jacksonville, of all places. What a coincidence. And I was kind of pissed off, because like, when you get a plane, you don't think you have to deal with that. It's a private plane. Why would it be affected by weather? I want my money's worth. So anyways, we had to land in Jacksonville, and then it was like, it could be stranded here for four hours. It's like, fuck, I could get home in two and a half hours. So I called the guy, who, who a friend of mine runs a limo company. Can you get us a, a car to take us back to Tampa? Absolutely. Great. Perfect. This guy comes, SUV, we get in the car. Can we go somewhere to eat on the way out of town, like a steakhouse? Like there's an outback right over here. He goes, I'll t and now in retrospect, it, it was all a big sting. But he goes, I'll take you to a Lone Star, which is a similar steakhouse in the States, but it's not as good as Outback. And I was like, he goes, it's closer. And I'm like, is it? And let's just go to Lone Star. Fuck it. Go to Lone Star. And we're eating. And this guy walks in, the driver. And he walks in. And I'm like, what's he doing? Is he looking for us? And he kind of looks at no, He's wandering around. And it's just kind of peculiar, right? So we go back outside. And... Um, I go for some reason to look at the belt. I'm not sure why I did, but I noticed that it's not there. And I say to the driver, where's the fucking belt? He goes, what are you talking about? No, I don't know. I put the luggage in here. So, oh, I know why, because I, I, I know what it was. I was carrying it in a, in a case, because I was the champion, and because I, I had it with me on the plane, just so you don't check it, whatever reason. So it was outside of the luggage. I go, it's not there. I'm like, where is this fucking title. He's like, oh, I don't know. And I'm, I start losing it. I'm like flipping out, right? So long story short was that, that this thing was stolen. And what I'm convinced has happened is that he saw the belt, thought that it was real, real gold and real jewels and real diamonds. He pulled over. He called whatever friend he had. I'm going to leave the back of the truck of the car open, the SUV. I'm going to go inside the restaurant. You come, open the back of it. Take the belt, and we'll sell it. And there was nothing, too, because I would bought my wife some flowers, and the, the vase had broken. Like, what did you do? The guy opened the thing, and the vase fell out when he was stealing it. So that's kind of where it all started. And I was fucking flipping out. I was so mad. I yelled at that driver. I was right in his face, and the guy probably thought I was going to kill him. So then um, the next day, the police are looking for it, and there's all these really weird things that happen until finally... I get a call that the belt has been dropped off at the police station. I'm like, what? The belt has been dropped off at the police station. And the story is that some guy was driving down the road, saw a bag on the side of the road, and said, hmm, I wonder what's in that bag. <laughs> Pulled over, and there was the belt. And said, I better take this to the police station. Now think about this for a second, <laughs> friends. <laughs> assuming most of you here drive a car or have been in a car. When you're driving down a street, a road, a highway, when have you ever said, hmm, there's a bag on the side of the road. Let me pull over and see what's in it. I've never done that. And so, and then the fucking guy drops off the police station. And then these cops are taking pictures, wearing the title and tweeting it. <laughs> This is the dumbest thing ever. And by the way, too, I had to call Tony Khan and say, dude, the belt got stolen. What? I feel like the biggest loser in the world. Here's Chris Jericho, your, you know, 28-year vet of the business who knows how important it is to hold a title and never lose that title. And the first day I win the title, I lose that title. <laughs> Anyways, what I think happened is they took the title and then the words started getting out that got stolen. And it's like, if you guys are guitar players, there's a guitar called a 59 Les Paul. It's the most expensive guitar. You can't steal it because if you do, you can't sell it to anybody because if you do, they're going to know, that's a 59 Les Paul. There's like 12 in the world. You stole this. And I think that's what happened with the belt. When they found it, they couldn't sell it. They said, we got to get rid of this. Just 
dump it on the side of the road and have Georgie pick it up and drop it off at the police station. And that's what happened. Completely real, completely legit. It was a conspiracy to steal the AW championship. And the best part was, I'm telling you, Vince is behind this. <laughs>